everyone, and welcome to the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of high school volleyball. A special event at the Fieldhouse as the Coon Rapids Cardinals host the Andover Huskies. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, uh, sideline for tonight's game, and Howie, the Dig Pink event where both teams raising money for local families affected by breast cancer. Well, I, I definitely dig this uh, campaign. This is great. Both teams obviously doing it together and raising money for a phenomenal cause and anything we can do to help that as well, we are we are here to do. And they have drawn a good crowd into the field house. Final week of the regular season. Each team has one more match after tonight. There's a look at the starters for Andover, Olivia Rooney, Megan Harms, Brielle Danzik, Jessica Nelson, Jaden Konshak, Sydney Huberty, and Haley Ortquist. For Coon Rapids, Audrey Anderson, Sam Lom, Becca Masteller, Olivia Weiss, Julie Galicia, Ellie Biggins, and Peyton Shevchuk. I mean, the atmosphere in this gym tonight, Joe, is, is great. Just love it. I love the turnout. Student section across from us is going crazy. Everybody's getting into this event. I love it. I love it. Full house here at the. Well, Roger in the e. Andover State Center. fan section, just next door, they are well attended as well. Of yes. course, Andover right down the road, and we are underway with the Cardinals. Starting with the serve, a little missed timing on the set attack and the Cardinals drop the first point. This is an Andover team that uh, comes in at 9 and 12. The Cardinals are at 4 and 13. Cardinals would love to get the opportunity to get a win here against a pretty good opponent. Weak pass back, but Huskies not able to take advantage. Massler not a lot on that. Attack has too much on it. For Jessica Nelson and the Cardinals get the po point and the service back. See that one just going a little bit long. Alex Wright checks in and will take over at the service line. Attack left side, partially picked up by Biggins. Cardinals trying to recover. Masteller forced to just pass it across. An opportunity for the Huskies. Big block in the middle by Weiss and Masteller. They try the other side, and the kill is successful for Brielle Danzig. And see Danzig coming here, just a really nice job of getting some elevation, finding that spot in the floor. Schultz on the serve, picked up by Masteler. They'll go back to her on the right side. Big defense by the Huskies this time. Passing it across is Weiss. Tacking oh. left side and just missing that back corner was Schultz. That's two attacks that have been in good spots on the floor and just been a hair too long for Andover early on. Yeah, you couldn't get too much better placement than that, just a little bit, but boy, it was, I like the, the thought behind that shot. Huskies able to rally and get this one back, draws a cheer from their crowd. Big in stuffed. Great defensive play by Jessica Nelson. Well, we talk about volleyball all the time being a game of runs. Andover looking to go on one here, but again, great save to get this, keep this point going. And a lot then, of hustle for yeah, Ortquist hustle. going deep into the corner, almost into the bleachers herself. And she will serve for the Huskies. Emma Wright attacks down the line for the kill. And evens it back up early here in the first set. Yeah, great, great placement on that shot by Wright. Gabby Nesseth serving for the Cardinals. Nearly found the soft spot. Attack for Nelson. Cardinals have to punch it back over, and Frankie 
Couldn't keep her foot on the right side of the net. Well, and I think the Cardinals give it back over. I think a little miscommunication there. Freak, Freaky couldn't get to that point. She had put a little, put a little hustle behind it, and just a little bit too much, put her over the line. Nesseth the serve, the kill for Wright, and another tie score in this first set. See again, just a, a great set. And a beautiful kill. Emma Wright again. Back in the game, the Cardinals number seven, Sam Lom. Sam Lom checks back in for Alex Wright. Peyton Shevchuk shakes over at the service line. We'll use Nelson from the other side, just as successful on the right. And neither team able to hold service very nope. long. It's going to start this first. This first set starts out really just back and forth. Beautiful kill shot there. Not much Coon Rapids could do to dig that one out. And again, oh, over the line. Touched the net. Pass was uh, in too close. Good hustle by Nesseth, but not able to pick it up. That's going to be an ace for the Huskies. And this is the first real streak for either team. Still just a three-point lead. And the streak ends as soon as I say something. Yeah, of course. Back in the game for the Cardinals, number nine, Becca. Becca Masteler will check back in for Elizabeth Owens. Emma Wright's turn at the service line. And she puts a little too much on it, gives it right back. Yeah, again, just uh, a little bit too much. Mushik puts Andover up by three. Good opportunity to take a, a lead here for the Huskies with service. The Niki Bull Bulls will check in and head to the service line for Andover. Three-point lead for Andover. Cardinal set up Mastler, didn't get everything on it, but found the right spot. A diving attempt was made by Danzig, but it comes up empty, a side out for Coon Rapids. See it again, just a, a, a nice play at the net there. And again, able to cut the lead to two, again, not letting Andover go on a run. Julia Galicia at the service line. Huskies able to work it back across and perhaps a fortunate deflection as it came off a of Mastler right into a hole on the Cardinal defense. That pushes the lead back to 3-9-6 in favor of the Huskies. And again, you mentioned that neither team really going on any kind of a streak here early on. Huberty takes a little something off. Mastler doesn't. She attacks. Nelson, great dig. Huskies pass it back across. Mastiller again just pops it over the defense. Huskies set up near side. Attack picked up by Andre Anderson. Attack by Mastiller, and sometimes the net is your friend. In that case, it definitely was the Cardinals' friend as they're able to cut the lead back to 2 9 7. It's going to hit the top of that tape and bounce down for the point. Take it where you can get it. Alex Wright checks back in, takes over on the serve. Huskies set it up for Danzig, picked up by Alex Wright. Biggins pushes it to the middle. The Huskies forced to carry. It was a great diving save by Bowles, but followed by an illegal touch. Sometimes you gives expect the Cardinals the point. You expect that kill and you don't get it and that soft little shot over the top of the tape can can sometimes give you trouble. Nelson way too much on it. Out the end line and we're tied at nine. Right. 
serves. Huskies set up for Danzig. Picked up by Galicia. That one just out of the reach for Ellie Biggins. And the Huskies get the serve back, leading 10-9. Well, if this one continues the way it started out, it's going to be an interesting night. Neither team is going bi going up big, and both teams obviously keeping it close. Nelson, big attack, sent back, and then trying to take advantage on the far side was Olivia Rooney, but she fired it long, and we're tied at 10 now. There's a lot of power on that. A lot of power. Alex Wright was there to dig it out, and Fortunate for the Cardinals, Huskies not able to take advantage. Yep. Masterler starts her service with an ace. And the Cardinals' first lead of the match. Nelson from deep in her own end. Picked up by Alex Wright. Emma Wright on the attack. Pass is just pushed over. Mastiller attack, got a piece of it at the net, did the Huskies. Here's Nelson from the left side. Galicia picks it up. Good save with oh, the Cardinals. Great try. Can't make it back across. Huskies even it up at 11 all. Big defense again from the Huskies as Nelson gets up there and pushes it to the floor. It's all about that timing, and you get that, that perfect timing on the block. Nothing Coon Rapids could do about it. Alex Wright digging it out. Emma Wright pushes it across. Nelson there to play it. Attack by Rooney is turned away. Weak pass. Weiss can't take advantage. Nelson. Blocked by Weiss. Nice block at the net. Strong play and up front. We're at tied at 12. Yeah, just again, look at look at the timing. And it's putting it in that soft part of the, of the floor where there's no defender there to able to make a play on it. Nelson. Whoa. No question, she puts that one to the floor. With some authority, there was some heat on that kill. Michaela Whiteford take, comes in and takes over, serving for the Huskies, a 13-12 lead. Weiss blocked in the middle by Nelson again. We're seeing both teams, Joe, with very strong net play so far in this first set. Whether it's a block or a kill, both teams doing an excellent job of winning points. Weak pass back and just missed time by Megan Harms. And it'll be a side out back to Coon Rapids. Shevchuk to serve for Coon Rapids. Nelson from the right side. Cardinals got a piece of it. Yep. Andover opening up a slim lead at two. Sent long by Danzig. Again, just keep it close. Carlos within a point. Sliding save by Orquist. 
Danzig didn't get the timing she needed. Nope, just a miss hit on that. Even at 15. Service into the net for right. Anaki Bowles will serve now for the Huskies. That lead still at one. Mastiller didn't get the angle she needed, plays it into the net. Emma Wright has to pass it back across. Quick set, corner attack, picked up by Shevchuk. Here's Masteller, didn't get much on it. Danzig is there. This one just pushed across for Whiteford. Trying to set up Frakey and sent it just wide. Well, now Andover starting to open up a little bit of a lead at 18-15 as it gets to this point in, in the set. Cardinals need to be uh, need to be careful and try and cut into this lead as it gets later on. Mastler, good defense. Danzig's attack picked up by Shevchuk. Mastler pushes it. Whiteford keeps it up. Danzig plays it across. Emma Wright from the middle, oh. diving, saved by Bowles. This point will continue. Masteller tips it over, tried to catch him by surprise. Great diving save. Push to the back corner. And finally, oh. it will fall on the side of the Andover Huskies. You talk about a great point. Neither team wanted to give that one up. Cardinals come up on top. The pressure and over here now just leading by two. 18-16. Galicia to serve. Danzig slips it past the defense. Four touches. Sydney Huberty checks in and heads to the service line. Her team with a three point lead as we're getting close to the late going here in set number one. Lom got a piece of it and then passes for Galicia. The set Mastiller through the block. And gets the point and ball back for the home team. Yeah, and that's an important point for the Cardinals, Joe. Now you, you cut it to a 19-17 lead with the serve. And it's just a matter of holding your service here now. Not something they have done particularly no. well in this first set. And neither team, again, has been able to. As we've seen a lot of ties, not a lot of runs. Danzig attacks, finds that back line, and gets it right back for the Huskies. Carl's a lot of position there at that back line for, on their defense. Now gets to that 20 point mark. Sophia Schultz serving. Emma Wright is there, pushing it over as Nessa. Nelson. Oh. And they set her up, and she's got the time and space. And she knocks she it do down. She some damage. Oh, yeah. She uh, leads this team in kills. <laughs> Mastiller had to just tip it over. Nelson attacks. Gets the kill. And a timeout, Coon Rapids. Yeah, and a good one at this point at 22-17 in this first set. It's close. 
biggest lead of, of the night. Confused by his pink shirt tonight, but Coon Rapids number one fan is in the house. Red is here. There he is. There he is, the number one fan, Red. Great crowd. It's nice to see a crowd like this out. It is. Again, you know, a lot of parents out to support. A lot of uh, students from from Andover, obviously, a, a lot from Coon Rapids. A lot of athletes yep. I see and recognize on the far side for the Cardinals. Well, you know, that's a, that's the way it always has been. You know, it's always been, you know, in the past even more so where, where we've gotten such a big student contingent coming out. Joe, you have a pair of those, don't you? I, I was just going to say they might have been missing for a while. Uh-oh. May have found them. So back to the action with Schultz serving. A 22-17 lead for her Andover Huskies here in set number one. Mastiller blocked. Weiss can't pick it off the net. Timing off, oh. but the result is what they needed as Masteller punches it past the defenders and gets it to the floor. Yeah, it is, it is totally what they needed. Andover with that 23, now 18 lead. Mastler stirs. Tack is long for Rooney. Nelson from the midcourt line, passed right back by Mastler. Little miscommunication, but they keep it up. Played across by Gonchak. Attack by Weiss, picked up. Pushed over by the Huskies. Right, able to play it across, and a diving attempt comes up short for Bulls as the Cardinals are back within three. Again, just uh, not giving up. You, you notice the energy in this building tonight, and, and not only with, with the fans, but certainly with the players. That very exciting evening for them. Masteller's attack. Bulls can't handle it. It's 23-21. Coach Huberty getting up saying something to her players. You see it again, a, a great opportunity. Nelson ends the run and pushes the Huskies to set point. Now that's pretty good, uh, pretty good run, pretty good effort from the Cardinals squad. Uh, the Cardinals just have to hold on defense here. Haley Orquist serving, trying to finish this one off for the Huskies here in set number one. And she does, she gets the ace. And gets the Huskies the 25-21 win. We'll take a break, we'll be back with first set highlights and stats. And set number two after this on CTN. Hope's construction of the overpass can start in March or April and be finished by the start of the new school year. Yes, I'm going to live to be 100. <laughs> Back 
you, Roger E. Carlson, Fieldhouse. A good one in the first. A back and forth battle. Nobody able to get clear control until close to the very end when Andover went on a couple of little runs that helped them stretch it out to the 25-21 victory. Yeah, and, and again, give Coon Rapids, they were down, I believe it was 23-17. They got that 18th point run on a little bit of a run to make this a, a contest in the first set, but then give credit to Andover, they did a good job of making sure that they put it away for that first set victory. Big set for the home squad. Want to even things up as quickly as possible, not give Andover an opportunity for the victory. Miles rocking that uh, su Superman shirt. And the the pom pom hair is. Well, always, I do like I do like the pom pom. It's always hair. a classy look. Yep. Set number two underway with the Huskies having the first service. Kayla Wilbur on the attack. Cardinals, or the uh, Huskies rather, can't bring it back. And Coon Rapids gets the first point here in the second set. Nicole Post checks in. That adds some height and length to your front line. Yes. Huskies able to play it over, however. Mastiller on the attack, she'll get the kill. Again, that velocity on that, on that kill, not an opportunity for Andover to return it. Great strike. Go back to Rooney, Rooney. Gets the kill and gets the service back for Andover. Attack blocked out of bounds. Point Cardinals. Well, Cardinals able to jump out to an early lead. Emma and Alex Wright checking back, uh, checking into this second set. Huskies able to push it back across. Cardinals a chance to attack. Mastillers hit picked up. Nelson didn't get much on it. Weak pass back across, poked back to the floor by Jaden Konchak. That's a tough one in that we situation. Have a, another one early on that it looks like neither team going to be able to, to gain much momentum. Ortquist service picked up by Shevchuk, punched over by Emma Wright. Ortquist passes across, but out of bounds. Cardinals, Cardinals have the point, the 4-2 lead. Well, it'll be interesting to see if this set you know, pretty much tallies the way the first set did, close all the way up until the end. Gabby Nisa, the service line, sliding pass by Ortquist, fired over by Nelson. Tack from... Weiss is good, or Frankie is good. Just touch that tape. Takes 5-2 lead for Coon Rapids. You can see it here is that kill from the far side. Touches the tape. Nelson's attack blocked by Frankie. She'll get another chance. Shevchuk picks it up. Pushed over by Nisa. Picking it up was Huberty. Attacked by Nelson is good cross court. 
to keep the Cardinals close. Well, we can see why Nelson is the, is the leading uh, player on this team for kills. She has such great elevation, such power to the floor. Post pokes it over. Nelson oh. on the attack. Shevchuk is there. Emma Wright attacking. She's blocked. Post passes it across. Attack from Grace Kelly is picked up. Punched over by Emma Wright. Kelly again. Scooped up. Another valley, volley going back and forth. Kelly's hit too far. Oh, that miss hit increases Coon Rapids' lead to three. Back the game for Cardinals number seven, Sam Mom. You see it long there. Sam Mom checks back in for Coon Rapids. Not exactly a crisp play from the Huskies, but it worked. And it gets them the serve right back. Lom just able to get it across. Kelly attacks, picked up by Nisa. Wright's attack, but therefore it is Orquist. Grace Kelly fires wide. And the Cardinals have a 7 4 lead. See it again. That hit just going a little wide to give him that 7 4 lead. Michaela Wilbur and Audrey Anderson check in. Anderson at the service line. Big stop at the net by Sam Lom. Yeah, it's Cardinal team getting contributions from a number of different players. Sam Lom with a nice play to get the point. Gets the, the block. Danzig. Attack picked up by Shevchuk. Passed along by Wilbur. They'll try Danzig on the left side again. Wilbur is there. Set for Frakey. She plays it to the far corner. Whitefort sends it to the stands. Carlos jumping out to a five-point lead here in set number two. Far side just can't keep that play in. Danzig's attack picked up by Anderson. Here's Wilbur, and she finds the floor. Again, you have, to, you have to brace yourself for the velocity of those kills, and she's able just to get enough on it, get up over the net, and drops it to the floor. Soft little shot. They'll get it done anytime you're going to get a chance to it. You see, just up and over the defense and finds the floor. Kelly's attack picked up, partially blocked. Wilbur tried to find the soft spot. Another opportunity for. Lom to poke one to the floor. Kelly attacks. Neseth is there. Lom wanted to just try and quick pass it over and ends up putting it off the tape. And a nice little run for Coon Rapids, though. A 10 5 lead. Lom a little too much on it. Poke back to the floor this time by Konchak. Shevchuk plays it over. Nelson receives. Shevchuk has just been all over she, that back line. She tonight. really has.
Cardinals going to be called for a carry. Jeff Chuck again, I mean, great, great save to keep that point alive. Wilbur attacking. Danzig was there. Kelly plays it across. Frakey to Nelson at the back line. Here's Nelson flying up the middle. Anderson there to receive that. Wilbur plays it, and we're going to have to stop. A spare volleyball rolled onto the floor. So we had a good uh, good volley going. We did. Shevchuk from the middle oh, nice. found that back line. Huskies you know, thought it was going long. Sometimes sometimes you have to you just have to go after those ones that look close. I mean that was I understand they're kind of watching the ball fall, but Nice placement. Galicia at the service line. Guards up 11-7. Nelson runs under it. Attacked by Kelly, partially blocked. Good save by Mastiller that time. Oh. The attack and the kill for Wilbur. Wilbur did a nice job of putting on the soft spot of the, of the court as the Huskies are going to call their timeout. Here with a 12-7 lead for Coon Rapids. Well, Coach Jens had talked about Wilbur, you know, just a freshman, how she's going to have an impact on this program. Well, so much youth. You, you yep. talk about Becca Mastiller, just a sophomore. Yep. Uh, Audrey Anderson, just a, a sophomore. Uh, Sam Lom, just a sophomore. Nicole Post, just a sophomore. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam Lama, a junior. She's a junior, right. The rest are all are all sophomores, though. And then the freshman, as you mentioned, Michaela Wilbur. Sophia Frakey, Ellie Biggins, Julia Galicia, Olivia Weiss, Alex and Emma Wright, and Elizabeth Owen. Yeah, a lot of seniors on this team. But some really good youth as well. It's a nice mixture. So Galicia at the service line. That one poked wide by Michaela Whiteford. And the lead grows to six. Yeah, and, and again, nice job by the, by the Cardinals to open up this lead. And with service, see if they can go on an, another run. Danzig's attack picked up by Galicia. Way too long by Wilbur. Be a side out for and over. Second time early in this second set, the Cardinals have pushed their lead to six. Huberty's serve. Lom just pokes it over. Picked up by Bowles. And a carry called against Andover. And again, this is just the one opportunity for service for Andover, and the Cardinals get the, the point and the service back. I saw the carry there. Bowles there to serve, receive, serve, big block. And Nicole Post a good play at the net. Rooney oh. blocked again. Nice. Post this time pushes it to the floor. Just now, now they're giving the point to Andover. I'm not sure what they called. Home fans not happy about it. Let's see if we can see Joe. I, I'm assuming they're going to say that uh, touched she the touched net. the net. 
I think oh, she, I don't, she may have. Uh, she may have. You saw, you, saw the, you saw the net move. And it wasn't from the ball. That's tough, but the Cardinals get the ball right back. The Wright Twins back on the floor. Alex will head to the service line. Nelson's attack, great save by Alex Wright. Emma Wright attacking and too long. A good thought, but just uh, pushed pushed it a little too far. Charlie Perry checks in on the front line as Ortquist serves for the Huskies. Mastiller blocked post pushes it back to her, and that one did not go as planned. Did not. And over cuts the lead to four. Right attacks, oh. found that line. Good, solid strike. Beautiful, beautiful placement. So that hits the back line. See it again here. Good uh, job there, just getting the elevation, getting the hit to the back line. 16 11 lead. Nelson punches it over. Alex Wright, the diving save. Huskies having to scramble. Now Rooney hits it long. But the Cardinals got a piece of it. Michaela Whiteford to serve for Andover. Illegal rotation by the Cardinals. That cuts the lead to three. Whiteford, high lob of a serve this time. Good play at the net by Charlie Perry. Gets the Huskies the point and the Cardinals. Taking time out, their lead down to two. Yeah, they saw they had a six-point lead at one point, and give credit two good at uh, two points, correct? And good play at the line at the net there gives Andover the point in that two-point uh, cushion now for Coon Rapids. Well, Joe, if you like what you're watching, you're certainly going to like our Facebook page. Make sure you go check us out like us you can find out what's going on around Coon Rapids sports and news all sorts of good things Whiteford serve, diving save, Emma Wright. Frakey too far. And the lead down to one. That now, is not how they had hoped to come out of that timeout. I was just going to say they took the words out of my mouth. Would you like them back? No, I'm fine. I'm full. Frakey's attack into the net. We're tied at 16. Yeah, and Andover has to feel pretty good about that. Down by six twice, as you mentioned. And now able to climb right back in, and we've got a we've got an even score. Just nine points from the finish line. 
Emma Wright will get the Cardinals back in front. That's what the Cardinals needed. Get that point, get the service. Well, they've been far more effective attacking the ball. They have. In this second set. Yund officially eight kills to two in their favor here in the second. Back and forth, Bali, no real strong attacks until there. Nelson put it right at Alex Wright. Not a lot she could do with it. Now you can see it here. Good, strong kill. Kelly, the kill, and over the lead for the first time here in the second set. Yeah, and as the second set gets a little bit later, advantageous now, a good point in this match, or in this set to get the lead for Andover. Nelson serves, Shevchuk is there. Pushed over by Lom, picked up by Whiteford. In the middle, huge stuff for Sam Lom. Well, I tell you, the Cardinals needed that as well. They did not want to see Andrew go on a run here this late in the, in the second set. Big block to tie it up. Nelson from midcourt gets the kill, gets the side out, ball right back with the lead for the Huskies. Bulls serving. Shevchuk is there. Cardinals tie themselves up a bit. And Andover goes up 20 to 18. And four touches make it 21. And there's the next time out from Coach Enns. Yeah, at that point, with 21-18 lead now for Andover, and already capturing that first set, he's got to talk to his uh, his girls, calm down a little bit, a little strategy there. They want to, they don't want this one to slip away as well. Well, they they again had had six point leads twice at 10-4 and 15-9. The Huskies battled back and finally tied it at 16. And now lead 21-18, as you mentioned. Since the last Coon Rapids timeout, though, seven to two, the score in favor of Andover. Yeah, they've done, well, like I said, they did a nice job of cutting into that deficit and then taking the lead. Haneke bulls the serve. Shevchuk is there. Wilbur attacking. Bulls picked it up. Nelson got there, passed across by Whiteford. Frakey on the attack. Whiteford is there. Danzig just passes it across. Lom able to put it over, but not with much on it. Passed over by Danzig. Pushed over by Freaky. Here's Danzig again. Blocked. Lom able to keep it up. And we have another one that's going back and forth. Good solid strike there from Kelly. Shevchuk able to scramble. Oh. Passed over by Wilbur. Great job. We're going to keep going. Here's Kelly again. Nishek near the back corner. Freaky down the line. Bowles is there. Danzig. Wilbur picks it up. Here's Wilbur on the attack into the net. And the longest point of the night thus far, I believe. 
ends in the favor of the Huskies and yep. gives them a four point lead with only three to go. A really nice volley back and forth by these two squads. Frankie attacking, gets the kill. They needed it. Cardinals needed it. Becca Masteller and Julia Galicia will check back. Galicia heads to the service line. Picked up by Nelson. Dancic in the middle. Anderson passed it ahead. Wilbur took a little something off and almost caught him off guard. Masteller just fires it to the back. Nelson picked it up. Lom gets fingertips on that one. Tipped over by Wilbur. Huskies scrambling, oh. able to get it back over. Here's Masteller on the attack. She'll get the kill. And get the Cardinals back within two. Boy, that's a huge kill by Beckham Masteller. And a great save by Andover to keep that point alive. This yeah, beautiful I didn't think that job one there. was coming back after either. touch number two, but they got it done, and Cardinals able to catch him out of position, and Mastiller gets the kill. Dancic attacking, she gets the kill. Well, not much you can do with that one. That's a tough one to defend. So it gives the Huskies the two, the three-point lead at 23-20. They're looking for an opportunity to close it out on service. Sydney Huberty on the serve. Masteller fires long. It's set point for Andover. Huskies trying to take the command. Oh. No, they, they gave that point to Coon Rapids. I missed something. Not that unusual. <laughs> Danzig taps it over. Push over by Galicia. The attack is long, but the Cardinals got a piece of it. And now it is set point. Yes, it is. See it again here. And the big, the big kill, you can see right off the fingertips. And out of bounds. Schultz on the serve, attacking his Wilbur way too long. And Andover, by the same score they won set one, they take set two here, 25-21. We'll take a break. Be back with set number three from the field house after this. You're watching live high school volleyball on CTN. Are you looking for a fun activity for your school or civic group? Volunteer at the Coon Rapids Recycling Center. The center relies on two to three volunteers every week to help us manage the recyclables that come in and to guide guests throughout the facility. Special events such as paper shredding or the Green Expo require even more volunteers. Stop in and check us out. Second set, looked like the Cardinals had some things together. They led through the first half of it. Pushed that lead as high as 10-4, and then 15-9. But the Huskies come on in the middle, drag themselves back into a tie, and then take control at the end and end up taking the Huge 2-0 lead with another 25-21 win. Yeah, it's a disappointing uh, second set loss, I think, for Coon Rapids because they played so well in the beginning and they and, is, and they did take a six-point lead at a couple of stages in that second set, but unfortunately just couldn't get past it. And give credit to Andover. They did a nice job of regaining the lead and holding it and winning that second set. So the Cardinals will be fighting to keep this one going.
going here in the in the third set. Huskies trying to get out the broom. They are. 10 kills for Coon Rapids. I mean, they did a nice job at the net, but uh, just unfortunately let that let that second set get away from them. Now, be, now it's important here for Coon Rapids. They're, they're definitely behind the eight ball. Galicia serves and the third set is underway. Attack picked up by Galicia. Wilbur did not get the angle she wanted. Yeah, just a miss hit again. Harms pushes it over. Good save by Weiss, but then Harms with the block. Couple of back-to-back -back big plays for Megan Harms. Any fans on the playing surface, please sit up in the bleachers. Thank you. Mastler's attack turned away, but out of bounds. Cardinals, White Cardinals. Cardinals will get the serve and keep it close. Well, again, just, you know, with the Cardinals, just keep it, as you mentioned, keep it close, but just keep the score within reach. Nelson attacking, gets it right back. Boy, she's got a lot of she's got a lot of range from different parts of the of the court. And a lot of power. Schultz on the serve. Wilbur pushes it across. Huskies reorganize. Harms pushes it over. Mastiller attacking, she's blocked. Wilbur picks it up in close and helps when you're six foot two. Nicole Post gets up there and finishes it for the Cardinals. No, they gave the point to Andover. They touch the uh, the net to make it 3-1 Huskies. I'm sorry, 4-1 Huskies. With service. A couple of times we've seen Post with it, strong plays at the net and getting just a piece. Harms playing strong to start this third set. Well, Cardinals can ill afford to let this lead grow. We'll see, we'll see how quickly, if this continues, how quickly Coach Enzo will call a timeout. Mastiller with the left hand. Picked up by Huberty. Here's Nelson on the attack, blocked by Mastiller in post. They'll go back to her, too deep, out of play. Cardinal serve on the side out. Yeah, not much that she could do with that one. Nelson had to pick that one up off the floor. She'll attack. Got it through the block of posts. And gets the service right back for Andover. Well, that's what uh, Andover wants to do. If, if they give the point up, just get that service right back. In control, 2-0. Post on the attack. Huberty sent it off the ceiling. You can see that one, just a, a nice push to the floor by Post. And Huberty all the way up there, off her afters. And it went straight up. Huberty sets, Rooney finishes. And each time the Cardinals have taken it back the and got the got the serve, 
Huskies have turned right around and taken it back. Kelly attacks, finds the hole in the defense. Five point lead early for Andover here in set number three. Yeah, the Cardinals defensively couldn't fill that spot. And a nice placement to the floor. Shevchuk diving save. Wright will pass it across. Nelson in the middle. And she's pretty automatic when she gets that opportunity. Gets the right set, the right elevation. She's uh, pretty automatic as the Cardinals are going to call a timeout. Trailing 9-3, but look at Nelson with another shot to the floor. Coach Eden's talking to the squad again, just you know, coming into this this match and hoping to get a victory out. Now trailing two sets to none, down nine three in the third, trying to get back on track. Hoping that his team can respond out of this timeout. Andover fans having a good time. Their squad up. Well, they, the one young lady in the front row there looks like she raided your closet for that uh, pink, pink shirt. Oh, yeah. I've the got shiny my, one? I have my own closet just with pink shirts. <laughs> Attack through the block attempt for Charlie Perry. And the roll continues for Andover. Good save, Frakey pushes it across. Kelly on the attack, Shevchuk is there. Punched over by Post. This time? Oh. oh. Said she touched it. Coach she Enns, went, he's saying she went over the net. Over the, she over did the not net. Touch oh no, it. she did not touch it, she did go over the net. She also touched uh, on the ba uh, back as well, but nonetheless, Cardinals not getting the point. Nelson pounds it right at Elizabeth Owens. Frakey attacking, gets the kill. Boy, and, and the Cardinals sure needed that point. Now trailing by eight. Now oh, Cardinals need to go on a run of their own. They need to. They want to stay in this one. Nicole Post at the service line. Picked up by Nelson, a carry though by Whiteford. And Cardinals cut the lead a little more. That was a fastball on that serve. Hey, as long as it clears the net. Absolutely. Makes it a little more difficult to return. Nelson attacking, blocked. Saved by Whiteford. Nelson again. Cardinals get it to right, oh. and they stuff him right at the line. Well, and that ball just hangs on that, hangs up on the tape. You can see it here. Good job, Kudnaps getting it back and then just hanging on that tape and dropping. Right, can't get the right angle. Attacks wide. 
The lead is 10. Wright plays it across. Big stuff. But the Huskies able to keep it up float. Pushed across by Reese. Not that time. And the Huskies can't recover. See, again, good play at the net. Huskies not able to control that point once it came back over. Cardinals able to pick up the attack. The defensive play at the net, the Cardinals called for the illegal touch. Anarchy Bowles at the service line. Alex Wright picks it up. Frankie will get the kill. Now Frankie with a nice shot. Puts a deep, no opportunity for Andover to return. 16-7 in favor of the Huskies. See, Frankie just a powerful shot there. Julia Galicia. Puts it right where the Huskies aren't. Hey, you know what? He just one point at a time. Just got to try and climb back into this. You're in a hole, but just got to keep fighting. Big stop at the at the net that time by Weiss. Cardinals set it up for Mastiller. She finds the hole in the defense again. Cardinals trying to get a little roll going. Well, they, obviously they needed one at this point in the contest. Try and keep their hopes alive here to keep this match going. And they'll keep it going. Yes, they will. Coach Huberty coming out, talking to her girls a little bit, just giving them some, some encouragement from the sideline. Bowles picks up the serve. Kelly on the attack, right down the line, and gets the service back for Andover. Good placement on that shot. Tag oh. by Mastiller. Power. She'll get it right back. Back of the game for the Cardinals. Number one, they call the post. That set up a little missed time. And the once 10 point lead is down to five. Timeout and over. Yeah, Co Coach Hubert has watched her team lead dwindle here. And a, and a good timeout for them is that she needs to talk about things and settle things down. It's interesting, they uh, they break up into groups. Each, uh, there's four coaches and four the four coaches bring some uh, the girls into groups and that's how they use their timeout. Never seen that before. I have not either. Oh, hey, we're here. We are. Hi. Hey, Dave Amy. Dave Amy. You're oh, the man. <laughs> You're the man. Wave to us, Dave. 
do like the pink shirts. We are though. digging. We're digging I the do, pink shirts. I do dig the pink shirts. There he is. There's Dave. Hi, Dave. Cardinals trying to keep this rally going. Keep themselves alive. Masto around the attack. And that will get him one step closer. Yeah, and they're doing that. I mean, you know, they're not giving up in this. Andover had jumped off to that big lead. And, and as Coon Rapids happened on an earlier timeout, didn't get the point. Andover were calling the timeout, and they did not get the point. Tagging Rooney right to the back line. That was a big point for Andover, as you're going to see. Right to the back line by Nelson. Rooney. I'm sorry, Rooney. And they follow it up with an ace. Creeping ever closer to the sweep now. Sophia Schultz. Mastiller is long. They, they got a piece of it, so it will be a kill for Mastiller. And a needed point as well, cut it to five. Tipped across by Huberty, diving save by Galicia. Punched over by Emma Wright. Here comes Nelson on the attack. Oh. Huge stop Huge. by Nicole Post and Becca Mastiller. I'll tell you, that was a, a great timing by the two of them. Able to get, get a piece of it and put it back over for the block. A big point cutting it to four. Great serve. And they follow it up with an ace. Well, just the way the placement of it was low. Not very little opportunity if you saw there for Andover to return it. Three point Husky lead. Nelson attacks, block, out of bounds. Husky point. Orquist tried to drop one over and it didn't quite work out. Well, finesse. Abby Nesseth at the service line. Kill for Charlie Perry. Well, Andover gets the point and the service back. Four points away from sweeping the Cardinals. Yeah, the Cardinals had that little spurt, but need more. Timeout, Coon can't Rapids. Get, can't get it turned right around. Fans, remember to stay seated at the end of the match as we will give the raffle ticket number for the side. Cardinals trying to stay alive here. Down two sets to none. And no, trailing now 21-17. Yep. And pretty important point here, or timeout, I'm sorry, for Coon Rapids. Whiteford to the service line for the Huskies. Diving attempt to save it by Emma Wright, but it's an ace. Well placed by Whiteford. And that was the key. We saw that earlier for Coon Rapids, a nicely placed service and did it there as well. Set Frankie way too long.
Huskies now just two points away. Cardinals need a stop, need it now. They do. They need to be perfect for five points. There's the stop. Yep. That's how it had to start, right? That is correct. Frankie. Good vision to see where they weren't. Put it to the floor, post serving. Nelson took a little something off it, but not the second time. She tried the finesse move, and then when it didn't work, she just fired it back. And now it is match point. As Jessica Nelson heads to the service line. And she's going to finish it with an ace. Yeah, tough way, to, tough way to lose out for Coon Rapids. You know, they had that, they had a lead in that second set and they relinquished it. And give credit to Andover, they came back and got that third set one and they swept them in the three. Yeah, you thought uh, early on in that in that two. second set that Coon Rapids an opportunity to come back and even it up and maybe we'd see a, a back and forth struggle. The, the first, the first mat, the first set especially we saw uh, very very close yep. all the way through until yes, it the was. very end, uh, and then they, similar again in the second set and over in the third, able to, to stretch the lead a little bit and then get the more convincing victory. Yeah, Cardinals gave him a little trouble here towards the end, but Andover doing enough to make sure that they got the win. And we are, uh, unfortunately, the Cardinals get swept here on, on Dig Pink tonight, but a great night, great cause. Uh, I'm sure a fair amount of money has been raised. Good, good crowd on yep. hand to take part. And again, Match uh, set three did feature some some good long volleys, but uh, it was an Andover fast start that uh, allowed them to really get to the finish without sweating too much. Yeah, and, and again, you give credit to uh, to Andover did, did it when they needed to. Cardinals had I thought had a really nice night at the net in all three sets. But again, just uh, didn't get the amount of runs that they wanted, and and they fall. I see the ending point. What do we have going on, Joe? We got football Friday night. We do. Final home game of the season as the Cardinals host the Falcons from Robbinsdale Armstrong. We're back here on Tuesday night, Shapiro. We are. That uh, opponent yet to be determined as that will be the conference crossover yep. match. And then uh, the final game of the regular season for the football squad on the road at division rival Hopkins. A lot of fun stuff coming up. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final, it's Andover in three, 25-21, 25-21, and 25-18. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro and the madman behind the camera, Dave Emmy. I'm Joe Young. Say